It's a training vlog, you know the score, barely coherent ramblings and moderately interesting things from during my week. Watch at your own peril. This week started with a problem. I did a duathlon on Saturday, planned therefore to take Sunday off, but didn't. Went and did heavy deadlifting on Sunday. I was very excited at being able to do it because I can't do heavy deadlifting with a race on the near horizon, too draining on the legs. I don't have any races now till after Christmas, so off I went. It meant my legs did not work come Monday. Monday's the day I normally take off, but this week was planned to work out on Monday because I thought I was going to be having Sunday off, and then the lights fell on my head. Literally, they fell on my head, I put new lights up, the brackets didn't work, so I glued them up. It's too cold in here for the glue, they fell down. None of that was my biggest problem. Here's the problem. My eldest son has decided that he wants to bake all the time. I don't know why, like a rebellious thing maybe, I'm into fitness, so he wants to make cake. Uh, him baking isn't the problem as such. The problem is that what he's making is so damn yummy. This is supposed to be tiffin. It's a disaster as far as tiffin goes. It's like a soggy mess, but it tastes heavenly. Um, I have to not eat it, which is complete impossibility. I'm going to eat it. I don't know how to not eat it. Um, what I'd like to do is make a video at some point about how to overcome uh, cravings, but I don't know how to over... I need to watch a video on overcoming cravings, not make a video. Uh, so, there you go. Lighting is shit. Uh, my legs hurt, and I'm going to eat this for lunch. Uh, other than that, week is going great so far. It is Tuesday, and yesterday went exactly as I thought it would. I ate the delicious food. The resulting sugar crash two hours later, the moment I had to go and lie down, when I finally woke up, all my brain wanted to do was eat more food. So I certainly didn't work out yesterday. But as every good yo-yo dieter knows, the secret to a bad day is just have a good day. So today, 7 a.m., I'm on here, Zwift group ride after lunch. And lunch is a business meeting in a steak restaurant, so that's nice. After lunch, I'm in the gym, and then tonight, another Zwift race back in here for that. The plan on this Zwift group ride is just to stay with the group, which sounds pretty obvious, but I've yet to actually finish with the group, rather embarrassingly, on any of my group rides. As a motivator, I'm telling myself that if I fail to stick with the group over this 42K, then for lunch at the steak restaurant, I will order salad. And that is not happening. Echo, turn off cycle fan. Oh man, I get to eat steak. Just. <sighs> After that ride, I discovered that my camera had not been recording for reasons unknown, hence only the GoPro footage and me just talking randomly to no one. I thought that was going to be the most annoying thing that happened that day. People are always asking how do I fit everything in and this evening is an example of how I don't. Um, I had my steak, I even got to the gym but I have missed the start of my Zwift race by about two seconds. I was logged in, it was all looking fine had a minor lagging issue that I tried to fix, it got back onto the screen, and I'd missed it by two seconds. It is now quarter to nine at night. There is not another race until half nine, which is too late. I've got too much I need to do. So I'm sat here, all my gear, ready to go, nowhere to race, demotivated, annoyed. Stupid, stupid, stupid. After yesterday's Zwift race that wasn't, I've set myself a new rule. I will always be on the bike, ready to go 10 minutes before the start of a race. That way I've got time to warm up, and if it goes wrong, I've got time to fix whatever the problem is. Not like yesterday, jumping on it with 30 seconds left. My hope is that I stick to the rule. My fear is that I don't. My expectation is that it probably goes the same way as my don't eat 4,000 calories of ice cream every Sunday watching a movie night rule. So just been to the gym, uh, quick session, 40, 45 minutes, 
shoulders and triceps, the chest yesterday. I like breaking the body up into these little bits. Uh, it's not necessarily the most efficient way, probably not the best way to gain strength or size, but for what I'm trying to do, it's perfect. It lets me fit in these little sessions to my routine. It also lets me fit them around my training. So for example, I've got a 10K run to do today and I can do that quite easily. I'm not feeling exhausted after that little session. Had I done a full chest, shoulders, triceps pushing day, I probably would be feeling more tired. It would certainly impact on my run. So, um, so yeah, I like these little sessions, jump in, 45 minutes tops, get out again. Um, so yeah, next stop is the run and then 10 minutes before it starts on the bike, ready for tonight's swift race. Oh, and living four minutes from the gym is very convenient, but in the winter, look at the bloody path. How hard would it be to take some of my council tax and put a bit of gravel down here? It's a joke. It's race night and everything appears to be working so far. I have got 16 minutes to go, which is about as well prepared as I've ever been for a ride on here, ever. It's a one lap race. I think it's 10K. I mean, it's short and fast, which is gonna be exciting because I like short, fast races, I think. I don't know, I've never done one, but I know I don't like long ones, so it doesn't leave my just, does it? Um, yeah, looking forward to jumping on this thing, warming up, and then getting a podium. That's my target tonight, which might be uh, a little bold, but what the hell. I want a podium on Zwift power, uh, not too fussed about the results that show up on Zwift. In case you aren't aware, Zwift Power, not everyone registers for, but it, I think, filters out some of the slightly more dubious results from people that might have uh, excessive amounts of power shown on their results relative to the category of their race. It kind of filters out people that could be cheating. That's the gist of it. So I look on the results on Zwift Power afterwards and see where I come. And first, second or third would be amazing. I don't know if I can work out how many people are in this race. Um, I probably can, I don't know how. Top three, yeah, let's go for it. Top three, that's the target. Uh, as motivation, people always say, what's your motivation? Uh, a Ben's cookie tonight. I bought some yesterday after my meal for the family. I saved one for today. First, second or third, I get a cookie. Uh, fourth or below, uh, dogs get the cookie, basically. That's how that's gonna work. Feeling good. I uh, didn't go too hard in the gym this afternoon, so that was good. My run was fairly gentle. I actually went with Jen and the dogs. Didn't go long ago, actually. It was getting dark when we got back. Uh, luckily, Jen has just had a fake tan applied, so as it got darker, I could just follow her bright orange legs, so no danger of getting lost. 13 minutes to go. I'm going to jump on warm-up, get ready, and then crush this thing to death, followed by crushing my cookie, hopefully. Okay, we are two minutes to go and there are 31 riders, which is more than I thought there would be. It makes uh, coming top three seem perhaps optimistic, but um, that's okay. Nothing wrong with some optimism. I am relatively warmed up. Uh, computer is still working, which is nice. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Almost. Echo, turn on cycle fan. Echo, play Rocky IV soundtrack. I wasn't quite sure I had to do the commentary on this race because it ends up slightly confusing, or at least it was for me. So I want to explain that, but equally I didn't want to talk all over it. Let's see how we go. The route is just under 10 kilometers, really simple, one lap. The route is really straightforward. It's sort of uphill, round and round about at the top, downhill, wiggle, wiggle, finish. That's the technical explanation over. We shoot off literally shoot off. The guy that I'm following off the line flies out. I try and stay with him. I know what the people following behind thought the two of us were doing. Acting like idiots, I guess. Off we go, though. Eight kilometers to go, and the first slightly confusing thing happens. There are other riders on the course, A and B riders. They might have even been D. We go past a group. I don't know who they are, we fly by them, I assume they are irrelevant, and we continue on our way. 
And at this point, going up the hill, the guy that is in first place, I don't know what he does, turns his engine on, he disappears. He's eight, nine seconds ahead of me. The guy in the pink cap just behind me is not in my race, different category rider. Ignore him. The guy that I was trying to chase just disappears up the hill. In fact, the bulk of the C group riders, my competition, eventually catch me on this climb and the point at which they do, the guy in front is now 19 seconds ahead. So forget him, he is gone. I am racing for second place at best at this point. So my plan is relatively straightforward, six kilometers to go. It's just stay in this group of C riders, be in the thick of it so that come the finish line, 300 meters to go, I can drop my sprint down, off I go, and I beat as many of them as possible. That is my very simplistic plan. And the race is relatively uneventful from that point until closer to the end. I stay in that group of riders, pretty straightforward. I'm not particularly tired doing that. It's not particularly draining. I'm averaging three, 400 watts every now and again, sometimes a bit of a boost to make sure I do stay in there, but it's all pretty straightforward. And then the first bit of confusion, Shit. a kilometer to go, Shit. and a group of riders come Shit. flying past. Now, had I looked on the right-hand side of my position, it goes from second to fourth. So in other words, only a couple of people in my category actually came past me. But I panicked and assumed that all those riders were Cat C riders, my competition, and that I was just getting left behind. So I get worried, I drop six, 700 watts trying to keep up with them, and I reel them back in, but psychologically, something had happened. I'd, I'd been very aware that people could whiz past and large numbers of them in one go. So I was feeling a little bit vulnerable, probably is the best word. And as a result, I make a huge mistake. Here we are, 500 meters to go. I should be waiting for 300 meters and then out sprint everybody by dropping 1200 watts just before the line. I can do easily a thousand watts after a 35, 45 minute race. I've only been riding here for 13 minutes. I should be fine, but I don't. I assume that all those riders up in front of me are against me, they're in my category, and clearly they're not. I'm in fifth, sixth position, so only a small number of those riders, bear in mind the guy that's in first position in our race is gone. In fact, at this point, he's already finished. So I don't need to worry about chasing down all those riders. I should have been far more relaxed at this point. I'm not, I'm a bit panicked, and I hit the aero boost at 500 meters. So with 200 meters to go, that boost has allowed me to progress to the front of the pack. There's only one person in front of me, consequently I'm in third place. Don't forget the winner has already won. He's second, I'm third. I've got no boost left. Oh no! No! And then this happens. 60, 70 meters to go, a bunch of riders come past, all with their aero boost on, in my mind, I'm thinking, that's it, that they're the Cat C riders, I'm dropping down to 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th place. Had I looked across and seen that I was only down to 4th, I'd have realised that only one of those riders that's come past me was a Cat C rider, and the solution to that problem would have been incredibly simple. 40 metres to go, drop 1200 watts, overtake them all. That would have been the solution, but instead, Mentally, I'm, I'm, I'm beaten, mentally. 300 watts I'm doing here, it's ridiculous. Dead! No! Oh. Fuck! Oh. I roll across the line, 219 watts, that is disgusting. That is a thousand watts less than I should be producing as I go across the line. Outrageous. In my mind, 
I'm thinking it's just over. I am. Just, I've, I've been beaten. The results flash up quickly uh, before I collapse on the floor. I see 12th. I think that's it. 11 people in front of me, and I pass out. Had I stopped and looked at the results properly, I'd have realised that actually I'd done okay. I'm actually fourth in category C on Zwift. The guy that won it a minute and something ahead and then those two guys are second ahead of me. But I don't. I assume that I'm way down the pack and my performance is appalling. Echo, turn off cycle fan. Poor, poor performance, poor, shocking. Poorly planned, poorly executed, poorly finished. Just poor, all fucking round poor. Um, Embarrassing. Forget the cookie, I should sell the bike. It's disgusting, disgusting performance. I don't know where I came. I don't care where I came. Sucked. Exciting update. Just checked on Zwift Power. I won. Gold, gold trophy. Won. Yeah, amazing. Uh, now, two things. One, I get to eat the cookie. Number two, I need to discover more about Zwift Power because it's clearly done away with a number of people that beat me. And if that's for good, legitimate reasons, that means my first place position is justifiable and I should feel excited and proud of it, then that's good. But if people say, nah, Zwift Power's out of rubbish, um, you really should be looking at the actual Zwift results, then that's a bit of a false win and not quite so good. Um, but first I'm going to eat the cookie, just to be sure. And until then, burst. Like, number one, like there's no one ahead of that. That's just, that's, you know, on the podium. Yeah. Very exciting. And in summary, the overall result is fine. The 12th I had seen on the scoreboard included B riders. My actual Zwift result was fourth, perfectly acceptable. My Zwift power result of first is also perfectly legitimate. I've spoken to enough people that said no. Zwift power is for people that are registered. It's filtering out the cheats. If you're getting a good result on there, that is a good result. So perfectly happy with both of those two. Fourth or first, equally fine. I deserve the cookie. What was not acceptable though was rolling over the line at 212 watts. That is an absolutely outrageous thing to do. I don't care if I'm 10 minutes ahead or 10 minutes behind. I shouldn't be rolling over the finish line, effectively doing nothing whatsoever to try and improve my performance. It doesn't matter whether you are above average, below average, elite, what, that's just unacceptable. Okay, by now you would have seen the explanation that I have yet to record as to how I managed to balls up last night's race and had pretty much no idea what was going on. Uh, hopefully next time round I will be better. Um, better, that's probably the right word. Today is a good one. Actually thinking about it, I haven't yet recorded the explanation and the hair continuity will uh, be confusing. So let me just fix that. So today's plan in the gym was supposed to be, what was it supposed to be? Heavy, slow back session. It was gonna be bent over rows, it was gonna be uh, one arm rows, that sort of stuff. That's now not happening because of yesterday's disgusting performance on there. I'm going to do something that is just going to have me gasping for breath so that I can remember that when I am gasping for breath, I don't roll over the line like a baby. I just push through it. So what am I doing? I'm going to be supersetting chins with hanging leg raises with one kilometer sprints on the treadmill. A session I've done before. Absolutely brutal. Quite looking forward to that. Uh, then I'm back in here tonight because this needs a tidy up because, very, very exciting, the Wahoo Kicker Bike Rocker Platform Plate thingamabob arrives tomorrow. I just can't wait. The guy sent me a photograph of it yesterday. It's been lacquered or varnished, whatever the woodworking term is for making wood shiny. That's happened to it. And it, I mean, just, ah, oh, hyped for that would be the, uh, what the kids would say. Um, what else, what else? Oh, I'm thinking then on Saturday of using it to go up out the Zwift. Still in two minds about that one. Uh, but first, yeah, work, gym, tidy up. Back from the gym and that is it for today. The gym was perfect. It was exactly as brutal as I had hoped it would be. The only mildly annoying things were. The footpath to the gym is still as filthy as ever. 
there were kids in the gym, teenagers, using the Smith machine to do bench press and all sorts of teenage nonsense, mildly annoying. Um, but my session was great, chin-ups went well, the runs were fast, three minute 45 pace uh, times five, so that's good. Um, what else did I do? Some shrugs, uh, I finished off with some uh, curls for the girls. Uh, talking of which, Jen's just got back from Christmas shopping, uh, which is not particularly important, but she brought donuts. Um, and there's probably some good scientific glycogen refueling reason why I should eat them, but um, I'm going to go just because uh, this one's shaped like Rudolph. Okay, we are back from uh, easy one hour run this morning. I say we, me and the dog. People keep asking how the dog's leg is. Dog's leg's fine now. He is back in training. Race on the 28th with him. Uh, yeah, pretty straightforward run today. Did it fasted. It struck me that I'd spent a lot of time this week talking about tiffin and cookies and donuts. Tiffin, cookie, donut. So fasted today, uh, gonna have breakfast now. And then in about an hour's time, the Wahoo rocker thing arrives. Uh, couldn't be more excited. It's like Christmas has come early. Hopefully, hopefully it is as good as I hope it will be. It has arrived. The kicker bike has been mounted upon it. Is it as good as I hoped? I will tell you, although first I should just quickly remove the third place trophy that just arrived in the post for the trail run I did two weeks ago. Not sure what I was doing down there. Put that somewhere safe. Are you ready? Oh yes, it is exactly as good as I hoped. We are way past donut shaped like Rudolph in terms of the excitement level here. It is exactly exactly what I hoped it would be. I mean, it's just, I've only ridden it for about 10 or 15 seconds to make sure that um, I didn't fall off it. I have to ride it properly. I haven't got time tonight because there's too much going on. But tomorrow, I'm going up the Alpe de Zwift on it. I cannot wait. Uh, there will be a proper review coming of the whole board and the Alpe ride tomorrow in a few days time, but as regular and loyal vlog viewers, I'll give you a quick sneak peek of it. It is perfect thus far. Obviously, if I get on it and fall straight off the thing, and it's impossible to stay upright, I will rip it apart uh, in the video that will follow. But for now, it looks spot on. Can't wait to fly up that mountain tomorrow, sub one hour, <laughs> maybe. Delighted with it. That's it for the vlog, because tomorrow will be uh, the proper ride on the bike and the board reviewed in its own video, and then pick up the vlog again next week in the run up to Christmas, which is kind of canceled this year, isn't it? So it'll just be another normal week. Like and subscribe, because I want to hit those 5,000 subs before the end of the year, so I can win the bet with my children and rub that in their faces. Even better, we'll be doing it by the 25th. Christmas is nothing if not an opportunity to wake up on that special day and say to your children, see, I told you so, you stupid little fuck teenagers.